going to find the bilinear transformation that maps the point z1 equal to infinity, z2 equal to iota and z3 equal to 0 into the points w1 equal to 0, w2 equal to iota and w3 equal to infinity. Now we are having the points as infinity, right? So let's start. So these points are given to us Z1, Z2, Z3 and W1, W2, W3. And by cross ratio, we have the formula for to get the required bilinear transformation. So this is Z minus Z1 over Z1 minus Z2 into Z2 minus Z3 over Z3 minus Z equal to W minus W1 w1 minus w2 into w2 minus w3 over w3 minus w so just putting the points so we get z minus infinity over infinity minus iota into iota minus zero over zero minus z so this is equal to w minus zero over zero minus iota into iota minus infinity over infinity minus w to avoid the confusion of infinity let's take infinity common from the numerator and the denominator right so from here i get z over infinity minus one divided by one minus iota over infinity this will be very easier to understand the steps so this is iota over negative z Similarly, here I'm also doing the same way, w over minus iota. So taking infinity common from the numerator and the denominator, I get iota over infinity minus 1 divided by 1 minus w over infinity. And it is very easy to see that z over infinity is 0, iota over infinity is 0, w over infinity is also 0. So we get 0 minus 1 in the numerator that is negative 1 divided by this is 1 minus 0 that is 1 and iota over negative z. This is equal to w over negative iota and this is 0 minus 1 that is negative 1 over 1 minus 0 that is 1. So that is negative 1 over 1. So this implies this cancelling this negative sign I get iota over z so this is equal to cancelling this also I get W over iota and so taking this iota to the other side I get iota square over z equal to W or I can also write it as W equal to iota square over z that is equal to negative 1 over z. So W equal to negative 1 over z is the required bilinear transformation. Alright, thank you. Have a nice day.